Hello, my name is Yvonne Korpershoek. I'm a nurse and nurse scientist working at the University of Applied Sciences and the University Medical Center of Utrecht in the Netherlands. My PhD study is focusing on self-management in COPD patients. In the past few years I have been working as a nurse at a lung department. And in my work as a nurse I often observed COPD patients having difficulties with adequate self-management of their disease. As self-management has become increasingly important in COPD care, I was wondering how activated this patient population was for self-management and which patient and disease characteristics are associated with activation for self-management. Me and my research team thought that investigating the association between key determinants and activation for self-management may contribute to a thorough understanding of factors influencing self-management behavior. Therefore, our aim was to identify key determinants of activation for self-management. We have performed a cross-sectional study in primary and secondary care in COPD patients. And data were collected by a questionnaire and chart review. The main outcome was activation for self-management measured with a 13-item patient activation measure. We have performed a multiple linear regression analysis to identify the explanatory determinants of activation for self-management. In total, 290 patients were eligible for analysis. Poor activation for self-management was observed in 23% of our participants, which was indicated by the first level of activation. Only 15% of our participants was ac were activated for self-management, indicated by the fourth level of activation. We revealed six explanatory determinants of activation for self-management, anxiety, illness perception, BMI, age, disease severity measured by gold stage and comorbidities. Our study has provided insight into the prevalence of different levels of activation for self-management and has identified key determinants of activation for self-management. And this knowledge enables healthcare professionals to identify patients at risk of inadequate engagement in self-management, which, which, which can help them to make a first step towards targeting and tailoring of their interventions. However, future studies are needed to understand the complex causal mechanisms towards change in self-management.